And some relief appears to be on the way for one of San Diego's most notorious areas for flooding during storms. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn reveals the long overdue upgrades in store for Mission Beach. Bob Ruane says life on the Mission Beach Peninsula is as good as it gets, except when a bad storm comes. And if you miss it by 10 minutes, your office is flooded. Ruane's real estate office is near the corner of Mission Boulevard and San Gabriel Place, where the waters rise. His office has seen its share of floods, and even the barricades he built aren't a sure thing. If it's dumping down rain, the water is up about 200 yards that way, getting into the alleys from all the houses and on the alleys, and it works its way down the street, and it ends up right down over here in that drain. But a closer look at that drain reveals a narrow chipped pipe that stands little chance against the elements. The water collects in the storm drains over at that intersection and is supposed to flow underground and drain out here into the bay. But the system is quickly overwhelmed. Mission Beach's storm drain system dates back to the 1950s. The city says it's in poor condition and not functioning as needed. Pipes are corroded and some segments are disconnected. But last week, the Coastal Commission approved a city project to replace, repair, and realign six existing storm drains, install two new ones, and add bioretention basins and low-flow diversion system improvements. The goals improve water quality and reduce flooding. Well, it needs to be done. And once it's done, preparing for storms in Mission Beach may not involve barricades, sandbags, and on-street paddle boarding. John Horn, ABC 10 News. And construction is expected to start next year. It'll cost $17 million. The city says that the project is part of a goal to provide flood safe communities, clean water and clean beaches for all.